I have joining me, Kayade. Oh, yes. I thought you had abandoned me <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> so, I think you uh, want to take a breather. <laughs> Absolutely. So many things me. happening yeah. um, right now. I wonder what made an impression for you. I, I think you'll always be security for mm -hmm. obvious reasons. Uh, the security situation across the board. And you begin to wonder what exactly is going on. Obviously, it looks like there is some, uh, there is some agenda here. There's a concerted effort, uh, targeted attacks, targeted killings, monarchs, children, you know, the vulnerable. It just, it doesn't look good at all. And uh, this is a very good time uh, for us to make a statement as a nation, security forces, that we will not allow these things uh, go on. But you know, it's quite interesting also what is trending on social media. Aside security, there are soft issues that are making the trend. So sort of mix and match this morning. So it's it's not just the hard side of life. We also show you what's going on uh, on the other side as it were. So let's begin with uh, Asisa Toshola. Asisa Toshola has been trending. And no, she's not playing in the AFCON. So that's not why she's trending. <laughs> that's not why she's trending, yeah. right? So you're wondering why Asisa Toshola is trending. Well, so it's been announced that she's leaving uh, a Barcelona female football club for a club in the United States. Uh, yes, the same as Sisa Doshola, the Agba Bola, the third highest goal scorer for the team. She's won lots of laurels and cups. So when it was announced, it got a lot of people talking. Yeah, a lot of people had saying some other things, which you might get into this morning. But let's basic, basically walk you through uh, what people are saying about Assisa Dashola uh, this morning. So the news is that Assisa Dashola uh, has bid farewell to Barcelona Femini. That's what they are called. So essentially, it's end of a journey for her. And that's why we saw her picture yeah. from yesterday with the pink hair making you know, the rounds on social media. And this one is from the Africa Facts Zone. Africa, Asisat Oshuala leaves Barcelona for many after winning 14 trophies in five years at the club. She is Barcelona for many's third highest goal scorer of all time with 117 goals in 162 games. Does it get better? You know, what a man can do, a woman can do it even better. The women always, um, you know, defy the odds that yeah. women can't level up in a male-dominated uh, field. Well, there's more from Africa Vac Fact Zone. They also say she's the first African to win the UEFA Women's Champions League and Spanish Women's Primera Division Golden Boot. She has joined U.S. club Bay FC. Mm -hmm. I guess you know, that's the trajectory of uh, most footballers. Yeah. You always move after some time. You know, there's always some time to reflect and decide that it's time to move on. That's life for you. Mm -hmm. So in case you've not seen her play football, real time as they say real life maybe you are in the stands there's someone who actually watched her play and that's uh Arem Musbao on x saying last season i watched Asisa Toshola at camp nou against chelsea <laughs> says i kept shouting at babola <laughs> typical nigeria like you have to you have to see me so says he kept shouting until she acknowledged and waved at him you can't but just love her brilliance and passion says i wish her all the best at bfc california keep making us proud i think you speak for a lot of nigerians a lot of nigerians really, when you say no that. doubt in my mind that she'll keep doing that this one is from dan and he says she wasn't appreciated enough always scoring goals and yet not starting yeah so we got into that eventually that got a lot of people talking because each time if you watch the match I know a lot of people don't watch female football. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm <laughs> not you, because I'm looking at you. Kinda. You don't watch female football, so you might not know what plays out there. But for a lot of people who watch, they say, why doesn't she start most of the matches? What we see is Asisat coming on, especially uh, in recent times, coming on later in the match. And they're like, I mean, this is one of the best footballers, the best I mean, footballer for, in Africa. For a goal scorer. One of the best in the world, and she's on the bench. So you got a lot of people talking, and you would understand why. Uh, Dan is saying that one but you know we saw the video uh, when she was leaving uh, her teammates handed her a shirt and then there were hugs and stuff but it's still a lot of people talked about that so we understand all of that uh, Desmond uh, Ori says um, I said oh, Shola, thank you for everything Agba Bola just to show that Nigerians they love the Agba Bola <laughs> from moon to the earth to, to everywhere literally. and then back again <laughs> and back again <laughs> All right, this one is from Basa Femeni. Yeah. Asisa Tshuala, uh, farewell message on Instagram. Uh, I think it's Asisa 
tweeting herself now or posting yeah. and she says Barca will always hold a special place in my heart I will carry with me the memories lessons and friendships that I have gained during my time here oh, so I mean his wishing is at the very best from all of us here we look forward to seeing you uh, banging all of those goals maybe different shades of your hair from time to time hey feel free uh, do your thing but well, sports is a big thing on social media uh, this morning understandably because Nigeria will be playing against Angola in just some hours time mm -hmm. but another twist to this conversation played out on social media it was what you call is it the battles of the embassies or what have you <laughs> so take a look at this particular post so it was US in Nigeria the US mission in Nigeria putting up a post on X and it was targeted at the U.S. Embassy in Luanda, Angola, saying, Hey, U.S. Embassy Luanda, Nigeria Super Eagles are set to face Angola's Palancas Negras in the AFCON quarterfinal on Friday. It's like comparing jollof rice to Mwamba de Galia, which, of course, is a favorite Don't there. tell me the U.S. Embassy has gotten in on that <laughs> Absolutely. as well. You're wondering, where, where is Mwamba and the Galilea coming from? Well, we know Ghana Jollof. We know, we know Cameroonian Jollof. At least Cameroonian Jollof was added later. But this, and then you see the U.S. mission in Nigeria saying Nigeria is the favorite. Let's celebrate African unity on and off the field. And they're asking for predictions. So it's quite interesting. A lot of people <laughs> say, okay, nice one. Nice banter. That's what it's called on social media. Mm -hmm. No hard feelings. This is just banter. Nobody should take it serious. It's important to put that uh, on record. But it's quite interesting to see the uh, U.S. mission in Nigeria and U.S. Embassy Luanda bantering well, on social media. I hope media. that love will extend to our visas as well. For the... Did I say that? Okay, did. I didn't. You said it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one is from Uncle Deji, and he says, Goalkeeper Mwabali is now fit for African war against Angola. Morale booster to other soldiers. Now go and mop them all. Go, Super Eagles. Go. I know, right? And uh, <laughs> Bobokola has been very upbeat since that news came up. She's like, yeah, Mwabali is back. It's back. So, yeah, a lot of us are excited. <laughs> but we wish them the very best. It's important to stay focused. Now, it's not just on the field that is action or on the stands. Even spiritually, there's been some action. And uh, uh, Jimmy Odukoya, you know, Pastor Jimmy Odukoya, I put up a video uh, in the last match, before the last match, where he prayed and all of that. So people are praying as well. So this Very is what you put video, up. Very funny video, by the way. I know. Send it for Cameroon. <laughs> spiritually so i yeah. imagine that this is happening for the match against angola so he put up this post uh, on next saying people of god our prayers have reached the super eagles camp against the game tomorrow which is today by the way thank you madam aisha faladay because she also put up a video we will not relent angola we are ready and it says prayer video for the match <laughs> incoming well I mean, we we'll take our we we'll take our match serious, absolutely. Bodily exercise profited yeah. little, but uh, spiritual exercise profited onto all things. So absolutely. let's hope this is enough backing to secure victory for Nigerians. This one is from uh, the Peak Santi. Well, I think we're, we're out of time. Okay, and we take this one. It's just I think one we can line. Just go to the to the. You can take that one. Yeah, yeah. we'll go to the dollar. Uh, trend. Yeah, and this is, he says, or they say, Angola be scared, be very, very scared. Okay, no fear now. Yeah, what a good competition. Let's take it easy. Take it easy. Okay, yeah. it's just football. But the biggest one, of course, which concerns uh, the money in your pocket and the economy is the dollar and the CBN. They have been trending. Of course, we know why. And uh, this is Sunny Ahmed Ketafi saying, instead of our elders uh, to fight for interest-free loans and grants from the CBN and FG interventions, also uh, for more access to financial institutions in our rural north, they are shouting over transfer of staff to Lagos. So this is coming on the heels of the old controversy around uh, uh, relocation of First Fan HQ, some departments in the CBN. And I think that Sunny Ahmed Kaitafe is trying to uh, turn attention to what he feels is more important, and that's interest-free loans, grants from the CBN, FG interventions, because all of these things are needed to help people at least uh, find their way through this harsh economic reality. So that's from Sunny Kaitafe. Well, I guess uh, Kaitafe is saying that there are issues more important than the debate over the transfer of staff to Lagos and major government agencies. Well, point taking, I guess there needs to be more um, tete a tete on that. This one is from Stockers 25 and they say, 
too many players and gamers on the FX. That should be Forex. Yeah. However, kudos to the Apex Bank, but monitoring sanctions and prosecution of airing banks and officials will lead to the magic of stable FX. Sanctions, prosecutions, that's what he's calling for. Uh, by the way, there's been a flurry, if I could say that, of CBN regulations. In the past few days, there have been a lot. Sometimes you get two in a day saying, uh, this is what should be done now. This is how to approach this when it comes to FX, when it comes to uh, regularizing and reporting mechanisms and the rest. So the, the CBN, they will say, has been on steroids, literally, with that. But a lot of people are speaking to that one. Take a look at Sam Drew saying, it is gra -gra. Yeah, it's a Nigerian term that means... Uh, how do you show a force? Yeah, show a force. Uh, but without more much action. I wonder if that's an adjoining meaning to. To it. that, right? But he says, "Nah, Gragra, we have seen it before." Goes on to say the fundamentals are not there. All these, he says, cosmetics won't solve a chronic issue. So, Sandrew, what is a chronic issue? What do you think it really is? Uh, let us know. I mean, you can put up a follow-up to this tweet so we can break it down further. Is it uh, uh, the? extreme dependence on the dollar you know as a form of currency yeah. uh, or, so let's or know. exchange rate let's know but uh, this one is from Aye Koto and they say money should be the means of exchange but in Nigeria money has become a commodity being traded in a speculative market yeah. CBN must come to the rescue of the Naira so uh, I think that is what a lot of people are looking forward to are expected so let us see how that plays out. These are some of the things you're saying on the social media space. Don't forget, you can hashtag us on X, on Instagram, on Facebook, CTV Morning, Morning Brief. Brief. Let us know what you think, particularly on the issues talked about. Security, that's top on the agenda. The economy, absolutely. And of course, uh, there's sports as well. You know, there's always that uh, different side to life. So let us know what you think on X and other social media platforms. And of course, Yes, indeed. You can send us your videos on WhatsApp. Our WhatsApp number will be scrolling, scrolling on your screen very soon. And we'll authenticate the videos and uh, play back, you know, just to uh, build up on the awareness and perhaps, you know, cause some positive change. So we want your posts on all of those conversations, starting with this morning, the role of the state security networks in combating uh, crime and all forms of criminality. That will be our first port of call. Absolutely. And uh, we'll be right back after this time out to begin the conversation. To stay with us.